Hello everybody, this is Danilo from PeacefulAnarchism.com, TheSeedsOfLiberty.com, TheConsciousResistance.com, and the Voluntary Virtues Network. So today I want to talk about improving the world. How do we improve the world? What's necessary uh, to bring about change uh, in a positive way? And I think a lot of people tend to think that we need to do outrageous things. We need to create things that are magnificent, uh, that are stupendous, you know, things like, I don't know, air conditioning, like cars, um, like shoes, which are all wonderful things, right? Um, like the iPhone, like MP3 players, like the internet, these are all wonderful things and they elevate the standard of living of most human beings and it's true they're wonderful things however I wouldn't say that that's exactly uh, what we need or what um, is necessary for most people to do to improve the world uh, and I would say that the most realistic thing that most people can do are things that are much smaller and much simpler and much more basic and it doesn't mean that they're any less important, right? In our own little way, we can affect change, true, positive, genuine change in our everyday lives that helps to improve the lives of those people around us and thereby improve the world, change the mind of the world. So little things like holding the door, being polite and courteous, being respectful, um, helping people up when they fall, offering a, a kind hand, um, you know, comforting people when they're cold or when they're suffering, or being compassionate, you know, listening to people's problems. Um, Helping to lighten the mood of a certain situation, telling jokes, right? The, the role of the comedian, I think, is far, far uh, undervalued in, uh, in society. And I think that, um, you know, the ability to poke fun at our problems is one way that we can endure and grow and develop as a result of those problems. And we can deal with it in a very uh, positive way so so I think those kinds of things are of the utmost importance right um, it's I mean you know it's nice to say you know if you're um, Isaac Newton I invented calculus that's a nice thing right that improved the world right <laughs> but most people cannot invent a new branch of mathematics <laughs> so basically um, there's a um, what's his name? Um, there's a Jeffrey Tucker quote that says, where he says, um, you know, people ask me, how do I improve the world? And I tell them, find the thing that you are most passionate about, the thing that you are most skilled at and love to do, and do that thing to the best of your ability. Right? Because people... Uh, this is the idea of specialization, right? Division of labor. People who do those activities which they are best suited to do and most skilled at will inevitably increase the wealth, will create wealth and increase the standard of living of everybody, right? Because if, you, if, we, if we're doing things that we're least suited to do and have the least amount of skills, that's a waste of energy, it's a waste of resources. And this is exactly why it is impossible uh, to say, for example, in government school, that um, all kids need to learn X, all kids need to memorize this, all kids need to know this to be a, a respectful uh, person in society, a decent person. Uh, there's no way to know that, right? Because 
because we are so unique and diverse that we all have our unique skill sets and there is no information that everybody needs to know right because the moment that you try to standardize and fit everybody into this box that's where you destroy potential that's where you destroy creativity and imagination that's where you destroy the future so the extent that we impose ourselves onto our children through government school to learn specific things is the extent to which we have destroyed their potential and this is the whole idea about unschooling why that's so important because you know it's it's like we don't know the future we don't know what will be relevant and applicable to their lives so therefore we must give them the freedom to pursue whatever path they choose whatever path they think interests them because by definition what is what begins as play and interest most likely will develop into uh, a business and uh, a lucrative business at that because if you're not enjoying what you're doing why are you doing it <laughs> right um, when your parents tell you to study this you know study X because that's where the money is that's where you know demand is it's 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 very unfortunate right because we're sacrificing what we're actually passionate about and what, what excites us what stimulates us or sacrificing that for what we think will make us money right and money is not the end goal right money is a means right it's a it's a holder of value it's a it's how we transfer value right so Money is not the means, it's not the ends, it, it, it's a means, right? So we need to focus on what we're skilled at, what we're good at. And in that way, we will create wealth, right? So, you know, for those communists out there, you can say, uh, you know, I, I guess those, um, yeah, I, I would say very, you know, who support communism uh, in, the, in the state sense, um, you know, you can redistribute all the wealth at the beginning of the, you know, the turn of the 20th century, you know, right before cars were developed. And you can, you know, you know, redistribute all the wealth from Vanderbilt and Carnegie and Rockefeller and all those people and give it to the people. And you will, you will still not help the average man, right? Because it's not about the wealth. Right? It's about allowing people the freedom to pursue what they're skilled at, what they're passionate at, what they're, what they're able to do effortless, effort, effortlessly. Right? And, and so oftentimes when a businessman does become successful, if he's not appealing to the state <laughs> to do so, if he does become successful of his own volition or of his own effort, that is the max that is the the best use of those resources that is the maximum um, um, efficiency of those resources right and so and really you know people tend to think that um, that these you know capitalists are the ones that are in control no they're not <laughs> it's the people that are in control right it's the people who have determined that this product is worth my money and will pay for it and so the people decide who becomes rich and who becomes poor based on the value that they can provide the people society so it's all about value right it's not about it's not about um, it's not about money um, you know it's not about choosing a career that's gonna make you money right it's about providing value right it's, as Albert Einstein said try not to be a man of success but rather try to be a man of value right because that is the crux of it that's why we're that's why we're here that's how we improve the lives of our neighbor is by creating wealth and by and, and, and to create wealth we must be free to pursue whichever path we uh, we deem is um, is necessary you know what would interest us what what burns us inside so so I leave you with that uh, so this is Danilo 
from peacewinergism.com, the seeds of liberty.com, the conscious resistance.com, and the voluntary virtues network. Wishing all of you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.